Okay. Hi. Uh, today is September 13th, 2024. Uh, this is my reciting a documentary. Uh, it's about uh, improving my English skills, speaking skills and vocabulary, etc. So, let's get started. Um, first, reciting. Um, what are you running from? <laughs> this is a question I get asked every other day on social media. Uh, it seems like um, if you start traveling, um, people will assume that um, you must be trying to escape something, maybe even run away from yourself. So I ran that by my therapist the other week, and she confirmed something. Uh, that I had always suspected. Yes, I'm running. I'm sprinting. But I don't think I'm running from the things that people assume I'm running from. Uh, because uh, you can run from a lot more than just yourself. You can run from dullness and predictability. Uh, you can run from the things that all m merge into one grey hole and years spent doing the, the same old things day in, day out. You can run from complacency. Uh, so, I, so I guess I'll just keep running. Second reciting, it's uh, from um, Agatha Christie, Death on the Nile. If any misfortunes happen to my friends, I always drop them at once. It sounds heartless, but it saves such a lot of trouble later. They, they always want to borrow money of you or else they start a dressmaking business and you'll have to get the most terrible clothes from them. Or they paint lampshades or do boutique scarves. So if I lost all my money, drop me tomorrow. Of course, darling, I would. You can say I'm not honest about it. And you'll find the truth of nearly everybody. Only most people won't admit it. They just say they really can't put up with Mary or Emily or Pamela anymore. Her troubles made her so bitter and peculiar. Poor dear. How beastly you are, Juliana. How will they make, like everyone else? Um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now, can you think what the mirror of Verisage shows us all? Harry shook his head. Let me explain. The happiest man on earth would be able to use the mirror of Verisage like a normal mirror. He would look at it and see himself exactly as he is. Does it help? Harry thought, then he said slowly. It shows us what we want, whatever we want. Yes and no, said Dabala quietly. It shows us nothing more or less the deepest, most desperate desire of hearts. You who have never known your family, see them stand around you. Ronald Weasley, who has always been overshadowed by his brothers, sees himself standing alone, the best of all of them. However, this mirror will give us neither knowledge or truth. Men have wasted away before it, entranced by what they've seen or been driven mad, not knowing what it shows is real or impossible. The mirror will be moved to a new home tomorrow, Harry, and I ask you not to go looking for it again. If you do run across it, you will now be prepared. It doesn't do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Remember that. Um, the Hobbit In the hole in the ground there lived the Hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the end of worms and it was a smell. Nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing to sit down in or to eat. It was a Hobbit hole and that means comfort. Good morning, said Bilbo, and he meant it. The sun was shining and the grass was very green, but Gandalf looked at him from under long, bushy eyebrows that stuck out further than the brim of his shady head. Do you mean, he said, do you wish me good morning or mean that it is a good morning whether one or not, or you feel good this morning, or it is a morning to be done? All of them at once, said Bilbo. That's right, said Gandalf. Let's have no more argument. I have chosen Mr. Baggins, and that ought to be enough for all of you. If I say he is a burglar, a burglar he is, or will be the time comes. There is a lot more in him than you guess, and a deal more than he has any idea of himself. You may possibly all live to thank me yet. Um, to think it will soon be June, grumbled Bilbo. 
as he splashed along behind the others and went on the track. It was after tea time. It was pouring with rain and had been all day. His hood was dripping into his eyes. His cloak was full of water. The pony was tired and stumbled on stones. The others were too grumpy to talk. And the rain has got into the dry clothes and into the food bags, thought Bilbo. But the pergolin meant everything to do with it. I wish it was at home in a minute's hold by the fire of the kettles beginning to sing. It wasn't the last time he wished that. Mutton yesterday, mutton today, and blimey, if it doesn't look like mutton again tomorrow, said one of the trolls. Now goblins are cruel, wicked, and bad-hearted. They make no beautiful things, but they make many clever ones. They can tunnel and mine as well as any of the most skilled dwarves when they take the trouble, though they are usually untidy and dirty. Hammers, axes, swords, daggers, pickaxes, taunts, and also instruments of torture they make very well, or get other people to make to their design, prisoners and slaves that have to work till they die for whatever they light. It's not unlikely that they, that they invented some of the machines that have some trouble the world, especially the ingenious devices for killing a killing large number of, number of people at once, for wheels and engines and explosions always delighted them, and also not working with their own hands more than I could help, but in those days, those wild parts, they hadn't advanced, as this called, so far. Uh, they didn't hate dwarves especially, no more than they hated everybody and everything, and particularly the orderly and prosperous. In some parts, wicked dwarves hadn't made alliances with them, but they had a special grudge against Thorin's people because of the war, which we have not mentioned, and which does come to this tale. Anyway, goblins don't care who they catch, as long as it's done smart and secret, and the prisoners are not able to defend themselves. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean how can we get to a spot where no land exists on a map? This chronometer keeps the exact time in London. I'm using it to make an altitude measurement to determine longitude. Only then we will find our exact spot at sea. So you expect to find the trident with the timepiece? Yes, my calculations are precise and true. I'm not only an astronomer, I'm also a horologist. Hmm, no shame that dear. I mean, well, have turned 11 a. No, no, I'm a horologist, so is my mom, but she didn't crow about it as loud as you. Are you saying a mother, mother was academically inclined? More like horizontally reclined. Horology is the study of time, and she was always looking at her watch. Interview. A lot of people on the internet say the moon landings were faked. How right are they? They're completely wrong. No historian has ever questioned the reality of the Project Apollo because of a piece of so-called evidence that the conspiracy theorists put forward has ever stood up to peer review scrutiny. But obviously it's fake because how could they have landed on the moon if the moon isn't, if the moon isn't real? What makes you think uh, the moon isn't real, though? It isn't. I don't know if you've done your own research, but my mate Paul sent me a video that exposes the whole thing. Can you prove them exist? You can, can you? Uh, we sit in the sky, we have sent spacecraft to the moon, we brought samples back to Earth. No, watch the video, it'll open your eyes. Stranger Things I know you're getting older, growing, changing, and I guess, if I'm being really honest, that's what scares me. I don't want things to change. So I think maybe that's why I came in here, to try to maybe stop the change, to turn back the clock, to make things go back to who they were. But I know that Snape just not how life works. It's moving, always moving, whether you like it or not. Sometimes it's painful, sometimes it's sad, and sometimes it's surprising, happy. <clears throat> so you know what? Keep on growing up, kid. Don't let me stop you. Make mistakes. Learn from them. And when life hurts you, because who will remember the hurt? The hurt is good. It means you're out of that cave. That's it uh, for today, and uh, this is for uh, this this documentary for the history, uh, for um, uh, for the further uh, analysis. Bye.